In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to remove glare from glasses inside of Photoshop. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com and today I'm gonna to show you a technique that you've probably never seen before, how to remove glare from glasses. So I've just been kind of playing around a lot in Photoshop and this is kind of a technique that I came up with which works and it's very surprising. So let's get started. We've got a picture here of a gentleman with glasses and we've got the glare on the glasses. Here's a little tip. When you're photographing and you have glasses on, if you just tilt the glasses a little bit, a lot of the time that will get rid of the glare. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of the glare inside of these glasses. You can see there's a big soft box up there by the looks of it. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go and we're gonna duplicate the background layer by hitting Control or Command J. Now the reason we're duplicating it is that way we're never working on the original. You always wanna get in the habit of preserving it. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to probably a tool you're not expecting. We're gonna go under Filter and go down to Camera Raw Filter. And now we're gonna open this in Camera Raw. By the way, if you're working in Lightroom, the settings are exactly the same. So one thing you always wanna do when you're doing retouching is you wanna be working at 100% view. If we go down here to the bottom left, we can see we're about quarter view. Let's click the arrow and select 100%. Hold down the space bar and we can just scroll to where we wanna go. Now the reason we want 100% is because the monitor and Photoshop is gonna display the textures and the details accurately at 100%. So what we wanna do though, is we wanna go in and select just the area of the glare. Now to do that, go up and grab our adjustment brush. When we turn on the adjustment brush, you'll see all the settings. What we wanna do is go to the bottom and look at our selection settings. First thing you wanna do is turn on auto mask. Auto mask will allow Camera Raw to select the edges and help us get a nice tight mask without having to make selections. Turn the feather flow and density all the way up so we get a good solid selection. Now we wanna be able to see the selection. So we wanna turn on overlay and mask. With the mask, just tap on that little square and this enables you to choose a color. In this case, we've got red, which works great. This is gonna enable us to see that selection. Now we wanna make the selection. If you see your brush tool, you'll see two concentric circles. The inner circle is the area that's painting 100% opacity, and the outer circle is the feather area. We can change the size of that brush by changing size here, or by tapping left and right bracket keys. Let me drop that down just a little bit. And now we just wanna paint inside this area, and notice that that detects the edges and keeps our selection nicely within those edges. Great. Let's go to the other side, do the same thing. Start in the middle and just kind of work up to the edges, always keeping that inner circle within the area that you want to paint. Great. So now we wanna hide the selection, but before we do, let's reset everything. See up the top here, just right click and choose reset local color settings. So that's just gonna zero out all our sliders in one go. Okay, turn off the mask, and we can also turn off the overlay if we like. The overlay just shows that pin. We don't need to look at that. And let's scroll up to the top here, and now we're looking at our adjustment settings. Okay, so here's a setting that you might not have thought of using to get rid of glare and glasses, and that's dehaze. Dehaze was designed to get rid of glare. So why don't we just crank that up, and notice as we do, we start to see it gets rid of a lot of the glare there. Now, don't worry if the left side is not working so right. All we need is one good eye. So let's focus here on his left, or it would be our right eye. Now, notice though, when I took the dehaze all the way up, you start to see an exaggeration in the texture of his skin pores. We don't want that. So bring it back just where we're getting rid of the haze, but we're not getting the skin pore um, texture changed. Great. Now we're going to go up to the top. And the next one we're gonna look at is whites. 
why don't we just reduce the whites? Be careful though, see when it just starts to get muddy? Bring it back up. So we're just kind of reducing it without getting that muddiness. We can play around with the exposure. Let's take that down a little bit. And see how now it's starting to blend in quite nicely. Don't worry about the line here or that area of grain. We'll, we'll get to that. Let's play around with the highlight and the shadow. And what you're doing is just looking to match this area of skin with the rest of the skin inside of there. So we're just going to go through each one of these settings, just looking if they help or not, even temperature. You know, even a little touch it there. And even like touch the saturation. Maybe that's going to help. Maybe it's not. But see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of checking. Sometimes when you use the dehaze, you lose a little saturation. Let me just bring it back though. All right, so that's looking pretty close. We've got that line there and that's obviously making things look a lot worse. Let's just click OK to apply. Let's zoom into 100%, Control-1 or Command-1, and Spacebar. All right, what we want to do now is get rid of this line in there. So let's go over and we're going to grab our Spot Healing Brush, and you want to set it really small. Left and right bracket keys will enable you to change the size, and we're just going to follow that little line there, and notice how it just starts to get rid of that. And when we get rid of the line, notice how everything else appears to just blend them better. Because that contrast line just makes it look very, very obvious things were not blending. It's looking pretty good. I see a couple of problems here. One, we've got a little bit of a light area there on the eyebrow. And also we've got that edge we need to fix. So why don't we start with the eyebrow. Right, what we want to do is we want to just kind of clone that out. So we're going to create a new layer. And then we want to grab the clone stamp tool. That would be the S key on the keyboard. And then with the clone stamp, what we want to do is set our opacity to 100. Make sure you set current and below, and that way we can clone onto the blank layer. And we just want to duplicate some of this eyebrow over here. So I'm just going to tap the Alt key, and that would be Option, holding it down, and then click once, and that creates a sample. And now we can just paint with that there. See, the, see what we're doing? And of course you can resample so it doesn't look like there's too much of a repetitive pattern. And essentially you just paint that eyebrow back in. Great. Now if you look at it though, notice there's a little edge around there. We want to get rid of that edge. I'll show you the fastest way to do that. What we're going to do is just create a new layer on top that contains everything. So to do that, hold down the Shift key. And if you're on Windows, you're going to hold Alt and Control. So that's going to be Shift, Alt, Control. If you're on Mac, it's going to be Shift, Option, Command, and then hit the E key as well. And so that's all the modifiers plus E, and what that does is it creates a new layer on top that contains everything in there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a selection around here. So the easiest way to fill up this is to just make the selection. And I'm just going to hit the Alt or Option key. We're using the Quick Select tool here. Just make sure it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to make sure you've got everything and we want to copy that to a new layer. So hit Control or Command J, hide everything else and we can see there it is on that top layer. I'm going to drop the opacity of that down to 50% and just tap the 5 key and notice it'll change your layer opacity to 50. And the reason I want that is so we can see what's going on. I'm going to hit Control or Command T for free transform, and all we're going to do is just make this big enough that these edges go into the frame. So it's just a really minute adjustment. And we're just going to make that. So we're just enlarging it ever so slightly. Not a lot. Let's turn that on, and then if we turn up our opacity, we can see, yep, we've got those edges. That's all we wanted to do. So now to clean that up or paint those in, what we're going to do is create an inverted mask. So with that layer selected, go down to the mask tool, hold down alter option and click, and it creates an inverted mask which hides everything on that layer. So all we're gonna do now is just grab a white brush and just go around and just paint away this edge. And I'll show you exactly how that works. Let's hit the B for brush. There's our brush tool. Make sure we've got a nice soft edge there, hardness all the way down, set to white, 
and 100% opacity. Opacity is all the way up and white there. All right, so let's zoom in really close. And I'm just actually just hitting the outer option and scroll wheel. Or just do it however you, you know, some people like to do hover, hover zoom, you know, maybe you could grab the zoom tool. You can see scrubby zoom, drag left or right to zoom in and out. However you want to do it, just get in nice and close. And now we're going to paint on the mask with black. Make the brush small. There we go. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to work our way around that edge, just getting rid of that line. You can see it doesn't take a lot of precision if you're zoomed in really tight. One of the big keys to retouching is don't try to work too far away, get in close. And you know what? If you get in close and it looks good close, it's gonna look good from a distance. There we go. And now if I hit control one, notice that that line looks really nice because we just zoomed in tightly and fixed it. Great. Now notice this side is looking really good. And if we go from here, you can see that. Fix that up. What we want to do now is fix up the other side. So here's how we're going to do it. We're just going to create a new layer on top like we did before. Alt, Control, Shift, E. And that's Option, Command, Shift, E on Mac creates that new layer on top. All right, let's make a selection around the glasses. Just using our Quick Select tool once again. Option key when we go too far. Now, once again, we don't need a perfect selection. We just need to make sure we've covered all this area in here. Great. So let's hit Control J and that copies that to a new layer. I'll show you. There we go. All right. Now what we're going to do is go into free transform and to get into free transform, just hit Control or Command T. Now what we're going to do is right click in the middle, choose flip horizontal and then just hit enter. And with the move tool, we can just move this over to the other side. Now you could just duplicate the eye, but we're not going to do that. The reason for that is if you look at the eye, no person has two eyes that look exactly the same. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use it in this area. Now, of course, if this is really, really bad, you can just duplicate the eye and be done with it. <laughs> we're not. Okay. So what we want to do now is we just want to make sure that this is lined up. And the way to do that is we go into difference mode. Then what we can do is we can just make sure that those frames are lined up and that's exactly where we want them to go. Let's go back to normal mode again. Great. Now we're going to hide everything Alt or option and click on the layer mask. We're back to the original eye. All we need to do now is just paint back in this area on the left where that glare is. So we choose our brush, make sure we're hundred percent opacity and we're going to be painting into the mask with white. Great. Right bracket key a couple of times, make that brush bigger. And all we're going to do now is we're just going to paint. So we're just revealing that little bit there over our eye. So it's looking pretty good, although notice here it's just a little bit brighter. So we can fix that by choosing the layer, not the layer mask, and hit or Control or Command L for levels. And then all we need to do is, see it's in the really bright area, so just go here and just pull that back a little bit. There we go. And click OK. Zoom all the way out. And there we go. Here's our before with glare on our glasses and after with all that glare removed. Anyway, I'm curious if you learned anything new in this tutorial, let us know in the comments underneath. And if you like these kind of Photoshop tutorials, consider hitting the subscribe button right now, become part of the cafe crew and you'll get a new tutorial from me every single week. Usually I upload them on a Tuesday. So ring that notification bell. So you know when I upload a new video. So anyway, guys, if you like this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.